Hi guys, Thomas Joseph here with another kitchen conundrum. Now, once you've mastered that Thanksgiving turkey, the next step is carving it. Well, today I'm gonna show you the best way to do it and you will be looking like a pro this Thanksgiving. A few tools that you will need, a pair of scissors, some sharp knives. I like to have an array of knives on hand, a chef's knife, a carving knife, which is this thin flexible blade, and also a boning knife is super helpful. And as you can see, I have my turkey, which has been resting, by the way, for about 30 minutes on a cutting board that has a well to catch any juices. And now I'm ready to start. So I'm gonna first remove the trussing strings. and now remove the legs and the thighs. I'm gonna use a boning knife here. Start right here in between the breast and the drumstick. Cut through the skin, don't go all the way down. So now using your hands gently but firmly, pull the drumstick and the thigh away from the breast. And what you're looking to do here is to pop the joint. You want to, oh, did you hear the pop? Take your boning knife cut in between the joint. You shouldn't be cutting through bone. You shouldn't be using too much force. It shouldn't be that difficult. So there you go. You have the thigh and the drumstick. So I'm gonna put this off to the side here and now repeat the process on the other side of the turkey. So now to remove the wishbone, this is the neck cavity here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut through the skin just to give yourself a little bit of a window here. Beautiful. So now you wanna remove the wishbone because it makes it so much easier to then remove the breast meat. So the wishbone runs along this neck cavity and take your knife and gently glide your knife along the bone and then reach in and grab the wishbone. There we go. You can cut away the ends. And so there you go, you have your wishbone and now you can make your wish. Now, what we have to do is remove the breast meat itself. So what you're gonna do is follow the breastbone of the turkey. So take your knife and go down the center of the breastbone along one side. And if the turkey is too hot, you can certainly use a towel or some paper towels like this to help you. And once you reach the rib cage here, you're going to start turning your knife and follow the curve of the breastbone. So a really sharp knife helps here in cutting the meat away from the breastbone. And you can see it comes off in one nice piece like this. Once you get to the joint of the wing, you can cut right there between the breast meat and the first wing joint. And so there you have the breast and we're going to put this off to the side and remove the other one. So now for the wings, cut in between the joint, this first wing joint and the carcass. So now to platter up the turkey, I'm gonna start with the breast here and what you wanna do is just keep the skin on, that's the best part, but everybody wants a little piece of the skin. So using a very sharp carving knife, cut on a bias, so that means that my knife is slightly angled, slice some pieces. Now this is up to you and the number of guests you have and also your preference, whether you like a thicker piece of turkey, a thicker slice, or if you want something that's a little bit thinner. I'm going about a half an inch in thickness. And so transfer this breast now onto your platter. And you can shingle the meat slightly. You don't wanna do it too much, otherwise it might dry out before everybody gets their turkey and repeat the process with the remaining breast. Now to separate the drumstick from the thigh, just turn it over, make a slight cut right here in between the drumstick and the thigh, and then use your hands again to find where that joint is. And you should be able to find it, it's right here. Take your knife and gently glide it right through. You shouldn't be cutting through bone or anything. And there you have one beautiful drumstick, which I will place right on the edge here. And now remove the thigh bone. So the thigh bone, it runs vertically through the thigh. Take your knife and gently glide it down and you should be able to find the thigh bone and cut around it. This you can save for turkey stock. And so now you can carve this dark meat up. Now some people like dark meat, some people like breast meat. I personally like dark meat, but 
if you remove the thigh bone like this, you should be able to get some really nice slices that you can nestle onto your platter. Now, to separate the wingette from the drumette, you're going to cut in between the two. All you have to do is gently pull it apart. It should expose the joint, and you cut in between. So the platter looks great, and now it's time to just embellish with some herbs. Now, I'm using herbs that are synonymous with Thanksgiving, of course, sage, rosemary is really great. And you can just play around tucking them in any nooks and crannies. So there you go, the bird is ready to take right to the table. And now you know the technique, whether it's a small bird or a big bird, it's all the same. Now we wanna see what you guys are doing this Thanksgiving. So write in the comment section below or send us a picture using the hashtag kitchen conundrums. And of course, happy Thanksgiving, everyone.